TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. And if you like this show, man, go over here and subscribe. Just because you like the show, man, this is the live channel, man. Anything I do on my lives that gets put here that you might have missed. Got some shorts on here and whatnot, things of that nature. Uh, Patreon. We just watched People Just Do Nothing in Japan or the movie. I just watched it. It's going up today. Um, link to this is down in the description. And we got the Discord bussing. You feel me? You get me. <laughs> Link's down in the description, man. Let's get into this, though, man. This is uh, Police Interceptors, full episode, 20, season 21, episode 3. Let's get it. Let's see our favorite show. I know it. Nottingham, 10 Sunday. Oh, and Sunday interceptors here. are kicking off the traditional day of rest with an early morning pursuit. Silver VW Golf. You can't see the driver. It's covered up with plate cars. A VW Golf, evidently with something to hide, has failed to stop in the city centre. One occupant, white male with a beard, speed is five six. His motives are unclear, but his methods are all too familiar. Approach of the uh, red cap line, one side of the road, risky medium, back to the right side of the road. The Sunday traffic may be light, but wet roads and low sun makes for a treacherous combination. Yeah, it looked treacherous behind this dash cam. All I see is slick roads and... And, and nothing in front of me but glare. The steam is off, guys. Where's my bird? Touch the units, please. It's high time cops called in the cavalry. Can we get the steam units from Alex? I'm stumbling, please. Dog handler Jen Else has also picked up the call. He's been traveling. Unable to shake the tail, the golf's driving becomes increasingly reckless. The for the other units, please. After taking a blind bend at almost 60, he zips across the carriageway with scant regard for other road users. The golf is heading for the main road that circles the western fringes of the city. He clearly reckons the dual carriageway could offer an escape route, but there's a few things he doesn't know. I've got two in the six. Where's the first car, please? There's now two cop cars on his tail, a third en route, and that's not all. Keep the commentary coming. We've got some level of units for Stinger. Stinger. An order has been placed for a Stinger. But the Gulf has opened the taps, pushing the pursuit to north of 90 miles an hour. At these speeds and in these conditions, one false move could spell disaster. <laughs> Cops have got to bring this pursuit to an end. Their best shot lies with the Stinger unit which is just half a mile up ahead. The car behind is just trying to back off a bit. We've got the Stinger being deployed. The team with the metal teeth are in position. Still ring road. Still that Stinger is different, man. Do y'all not have run flat? Um, run, run flat in the UK? Hey, hold on. My back been hurting, man. So I, gotta, I can't do this. I can't watch an hour show and I have no back to Ah, uh, 
<laughs> that feel right. If they can slide the spiky strip into lane two, it's game over for the golf. Yeah, the yard mark, get the coaching now. Lane two, lane two. Timing is everything. Did he get it? The eye driver clocks the waiting cops and swerves to avoid the sting. Who is this? Must be Laffy in here. This Laffy from Liverpool driving this joint. He evasive than a motherfucker. Laffy, you good? I think it was a mess. It was black, black, black. It's all right. They fixed 10 out of bounds. The good news is that a build up of traffic has brought the interceptors valuable time. But now that other way I'll be in the shit. Third unit has now fallen in behind, and the golf reacts with his rashest move yet. His desperate bid for freedom is now leading multiple cop cars across county lines. During the off to the M1, now 26. Fasten your seatbelts, he's heading for the motorway. Down, down, With an extra lane of tarmac up ahead, the interceptors can begin to hatch a plan. For those other units, let the ARD through. They'd be out coming in behind you. The convoy has now been joined by a further two tactical units. Among them, Sergeant Jim Carrington. Super Sue, can I suggest if we get four tactical units with us, we try a box? In the meantime, let's keep it on. With a fourth unit bringing up the rear, interceptors are going for the T pack. They're trying to do a T pack at this speed? Like, I don't even. Try and put the box up while it's quiet. But we've got four with it. But the pursuit is rattling along at more than 100 miles an yeah. hour. I'll go on, I can concur with that tactic. Or call Fox to the Vegeta. Attempting a box at these speeds requires the reflexes of a fighter pilot. Just the speed. Do your one zero zero for a box. Just the speed. With a quiet stretch of road, the lead unit makes its move. Super one against this box or slow down. No one back to the right. This lad seems hell bent on risking it all. Nottingham, interceptors have been led on a not so merry dance around town by a runaway goal. Late two, late two. Having skipped past the stinger, he's hightailed it to the M1. I don't think I've ever seen police fail so much in this in this show. He's failed stinger, failed T Pat. <laughs> Where a convoy of cop cars go for the box. Steve has one attempted box or slow down. No contact. I get it though, because that VW is willing to take risks that these police are not. Standby. Now at upwards of 80 miles per hour and directed by Sergeant Jim Carrington, the pack of interceptors mobilize for strike two. Get to the team, let's do it now then. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Lane four. Box on, box on, nice and tight, nice and tight. Box on, box on, box on. The strike is slick. But it's not over yet. Boxed in at 107 miles an hour is crazy. Four cops and one angry dog are required to extract man from motor. Two uh, officers on the just confirm it's a stop stop, no damage. With only minor damage to one of the police cars and the suspect safely in cuffs, it's a stunning result for the team. Empath, uh, you can cancel, please. Thanks, uh, thanks for attending. A sweet victory in a pursuit that could have ended very differently. The driver who decided to have a pursuit for gotcha, Laffy. breakfast pleaded guilty to dangerous driving driving without insurance and without a valid license. Failing to stop was withdrawn at court. He is currently awaiting sentence. Failing to stop was withdrawn? Sentencing.
It's late on a Friday night. Ken and Joe Linton. are cruising the inner city suburbs. 10.46 p.m. Up ahead, they spot two cars razzing round an industrial estate. Oh, man. The cops have put two and two together and suspect boy racers. One motor pulls over, but the Beamer puts his boot down before appearing to have second thoughts. I'm not looking behind him, is he? He's just driving. Until it finally becomes clear what they're up to. Runner. Runners from a vehicle, runner, runner. Um, we're off in industrial state, just off. Ken and Joe only have eyes for the driver. It's forward, forward, mate, forward. Bingo. Police officer with the chaser, mate. Stand still now. Just can set that real calm where I'm wanting full speed with 30 gears of 30 pounds of gear on. Huh. Former lifeguard Joe's been making waves since joining the force four years ago. He's taser trained, but usually prefers old school methods of policing. Ah, that's how he was able to run and do that so smoothly. First of all. He used to be on Baywatch. <laughs> Second of all, did they say he was a, like Baywatch as in the lifeguard show? They said he was an ex-lifeguard, right? Uh, second of all, this is his lifelong ambition to be a cop. <laughs> he was born for this. Stay down! Stay down! Not much. That ought to do it, Joe. Oh, no. Ken's finally caught up with him. <laughs> Behind your back. Behind your back now. We've got him detained. I'm just going to secure the car, Joe. <laughs> what happened to his shoes? See, he had on sandals. I guarantee you he had on flip-flops. Had a, a three-series coupe driving like an idiot. And he's looked in his rear-view mirrors, jumped out of there while it's me being abandoned it. Joe's got him detained. The driver may be in cuffs, but Ken senses a potential problem. Got a bit of a crowd going, so you get it ASAP. That'd be appreciated. The arrest has attracted a bit of local interest. Uh, shut up. <laughs> and they're rounding on Joe. What's happened? Some silly lad can't oh. drive properly. Porn up live. Yeah. Porn up live. Yeah, porn up live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shag him, man. Shag him, man. So the imminent arrival of a backup unit is most welcome. Yo. Yo. <clears throat> Who's that is? I got a clue. Whoever he is, he's certainly keen to put on a show. I believe, believe. Stop dragging me to the camera, innit? I'm standing here. I'm standing here. You get me from? You do as you're told. Why is that me? Go right, back off. What are you doing, Dave? I'm telling you to back off. You passed. Crowd control is all part of the job, and it'll take more than a few camera phones to rattle an interceptor. Oh, and still Chill out. This is this is his lifelong ambition. That's a different type of cop when it's your lifelong ambition to be one. Is a vehicle check, please, and for a chassis check. The driver claims the Beamer belongs to a mate. Well, I thought there'd be something in the car to go with the ridiculous behaviour. But I don't think there's going to be. I think it's just going to be driving offences. There's no sign of drugs in the motor. Nothing illegal, anyway. Shed loads of these canisters. But speeding around an industrial estate for kicks is no laughing matter. He's literally jumped out of it, left it rolling, and it's rolled into the lamppost. So, do you care? It just goes to show, you know, you, you, you're one turn away from... Madness. I think for us, like, we're trying to process. Well, what is it I've got in front of me here? Is this car? Is this car failing to stop? Or is this car trying to evade us? Has he even seen us yet? Uh, and then you, you, the answer's kind of put for you when you see the driver jumping out while the car's still moving. And um, obviously, it looks like there was two lads in the car. And, you know, but we, we've got to go after that driver. We know we need to we need to secure him. The lad behind the wheels not just been careless. He's also suspected of maybe giving up too much info in this. Uh... If it's two people and there's one cop, if y'all run, they going after the driver. So you know who to give everything illegal to. 
They be giving up too much secrets in this show. Driving without a license and without insurance. Okay, so you don't have to say anything but my army defence, if you do not mention now. So we'll push later on a court and you do say maybe giving an evidence, do you understand? Mm. The Beamer is being seized. However, because he's been nicked for nothing more than motoring offences... Yeah. Let's get his cuffs off then and we'll get him on his way. The driver is free to make his own way home. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is 2023. This is a brand new episode. Bro just took y'all on a police chase around the ends. Got out, footed it, and he free to go. That's crazy. Hey, I'm going to the UK. Here I come. I'm finna move. I mean, when you think about the action, like his actions there, jumping that's out of a moving vehicle, wild. you'd almost compare that to, you know, him being on the run for some serious offense for a long period of time. But the reality was, he ain't got a license and he ain't got insurance. He, and he left the car to roll into a wall, but it was his mate's car. So none of the decisions he made were going to end up well for him. Um, but quite clearly, that was a bit of a flashpoint, a bit of a meeting point for, for that group. They obviously all knew each other. They were all filming it. They all loved the aftermath of it. Uh, you know, the fact that they could have put people in, in, in danger doesn't even register to them. You know, that, we're, the, we're, the, we're the bad guys ruining their fun. And the sooner they get that out of their head and grow up, the better. The lad was charged with driving without due care and attention, without insurance and without a license. That boy got a $10 fine and a bag of hot flaming chips. He's currently awaiting his day in court with the magistrate. Hopefully, he'll think again before messing with Big Joe. I'm telling you, no license, no insurance in Chicago, you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gotta come bind you out. Somebody, you got you getting. Let me see. No license and no insurance. If you got no insurance, they might let you go. But no license and no insurance. It's over. <laughs> Joe has the extra few inches on his legs to the station. that make him a fraction quicker than I am. So. And the extra two inches off his waist as well. Where he was in the right seat tonight for the right <laughs> event. Uh, I can talk because I'm chubby. It's okay. With more than 13,000 ANPR <coughs> cameras positioned across the UK, each one hooked up to the police national computer, Ooh. interceptors have a web of information at their fingertips. Our access to all of our technology is now a bit of a game changer, really, because we can do it out and about real time in front of us. We've got access to laptops, smartphones that we carry with us in the cars, and it makes our, our business a lot easier and makes the, um, the cat and mouse game between us and the, and the bad guys and girls more difficult for them to get away. And quite often it's the technology and the access we have to it um, that gets us our best results. Why is there three lines on the ground? Why is there three lines? Here, I think it's just one. At most, two. I ain't never seen three. What about from the Hmm. Thursday morning, and Ken's back out on the early ship with Dan Mottishaw. We shall see where the wind takes us. Is that, is that an expression? <laughs> Ken's got away with words, a passion for Italy and a penchant for pizza. John Wick 4 is coming out next week. But this Renaissance man's favourite hobby is nicking drug dealers. A car with markers for drugs has triggered an ANPR camera nearby. Yeah, just past Porchester coming inbound. I'm just going to do a check. I'll go that way then, shall I? Yeah. Excuse me. Ken's laptop delivers instant results. The motors are white VW registered to an address in Derby. Could be a car that's linked to the production. Oh, it's somebody in Derby. The cannabis. 
Marcus from that one there. Uh, that's the budget. The boys are travelling in a marked up Volvo, hardly incognito. Well, lane three at uh, Junction with Hooters, so we'll be going Queen's Road, uh, bordering the meadows. Once off the main road, Dan hits the blues and twos. Yeah, towards train station, near the train station car park. The driver complies. It's Ken's job to find out who's behind the wheel. Hello. Hello. Are you OK? I know. I have the mirror here. I know, yeah. Yeah, he just comes up, yeah? I thought it was still... Yeah, he's oblivious. He doesn't even know why he's being pulled over. Well, it's just... Yeah, no worries. Any ID? Uh, bank card? The driver thinks he's been pulled for having a dodgy wing mirror. Thanks, buddy. No worries. No worries. Ken decides to keep up the charade. I'm just going to do some checks, mate, OK? Oh, just go in a sec. Yeah. But he's just clocked something stashed in the motor. He's given me an excuse to stop him because he's talked about his wing mirror straight away, but when he's opened his centre console, he's just got a bundle of cash there ready. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pretend to do some checks on the computer for console. He's just got a bundle of cash there ready. Oh, okay. So I'm going to... A bundle of cash? Pretend to do some checks on the computer for yeah, all yeah. of ten seconds, then we'll just Might tell him the same time. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. Carrying large amounts of cash around is obviously not a crime. Hey, buddy, all right? But the driver wants to fess up to something else. Sam, buddy. The thing is, uh, I say, I think I don't have road tax here. Yeah? You haven't got road tax? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> is it, and it's because I decided to sell it, mate, yeah? And uh, yeah. I think I'm going to sell it in a few days. Yeah, so right, I OK. He's certainly cooperative. Let's hope that continues when Ken reveals the real reason behind the stop. I've done some, some checks and there's some intelligence saying you're involved in drugs. Dealing drugs or something, all right. What's that? Cannabis. Drug, involved in cannabis, I don't know. Is there any, any drugs in the car or anything like that? Really? Not really. What have you got? You got some cannabis? Uh, yeah, mate. How much? A lot of cannabis, mate, yeah. A lot of cannabis? No, 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 no. What you got? What's on the babies, yeah? Oh, you got plants? Plants. Plants. All right, buddy. Play with shoes. I stay your seatbelt off for us, mate. He's got whole plants in the car. He's talking about his only babies. Well, you make it today. Today is the day. Somebody going to jail. The man says he's got some babies in the car, a slightly alarming term of phrase, which is actually shorthand for baby cannabis plants. Just jump in there, mate. Is it just a, just a few plants, then, is it? <laughs> 50, mate. 50 plants? Yeah. Time for a quick head count. Do we guessing in there, then? Yeah, we've got about 40 babies. 40. Yeah. Not quite the 50 he admitted to, but he's not done yet. I got one, uh, one ounce of coke as well, mate. Where is that? The There's an ounce of coke. He got a zip on him too? My boy, you was moving crazy. Yeah. An ounce of cocaine is nothing to be sniffed at. It has a potential street value of well over £1,500. I suppose at this point then you're under arrest on suspicion of possession with... Chicago, that's four bands. <laughs> Intent to supply uh, cannabis and cocaine, all right? An ounce of cocaine is a fair old amount, mate. He's taking those plants to settle in a property somewhere. Allegedly. Where? Um, so, obviously, to make a, a full-size cannabis grow. So, 40 plants matured is going to be worth quite a lot of money. An ounce worth of cocaine, which is suspected cocaine, are worth a lot of money. So, it's a nice little stop, first off. The stop may be over, but the job is far from finished. Intake. Once the suspect's been booked... You're definitely going to jail, but you're getting some years. Tim, back at the Nick, the boys can have a proper route around in his motor. There's your grand, I'd guess. Oh, yeah. It's more than a grand. Nice. It gives them a clearer picture of who they could be dealing with. Got quite a large amount of cash, probably all in all from different parts of the vehicle, around £2,000 cash as well. Uh, you got rent money in that joint. All sort of the, the marks of uh, dealing drugs, basically. But we'll look at doing some research on properties that he's linked to or got any control over. Oh, I forgot they can do this. 
If they jam you in a car stop in the UK and they find anything, they can go to your crib. And then see if we get any Section 18 searches authorised. We'll go and do those searches and hopefully recover some more uh, drugs, cash or anything else that will link him. Checks have revealed a property connected to the man in Derby and the team have got the keys. It's over with. Will the man with the babies on board have anything bigger stashed away? VW pinged an A. Nottingham City Centre, you want some cannabis? He was carrying a fair pick into custody okay. while the team headed off to search a property connected. I hate that. That second commercial on police interceptors, they always give you a recap. Like, don't nobody need no recap. We just watched to him in Derby. Once inside, it didn't take too long to get a sense of what might be lurking. Nice. I smell cannabis, but. Where's that smell coming from? Oh, hello. What's this? What you got? Hello. Well, is it cannabis? Big bag of cannabis. Oh, thank you. That's, uh, You're very welcome. Thanks, Sammy. Two carrier bags full of weed, an estimated six ounces. Some thick old buds there. There's some in the air in this one as well. I'm not going to keep that on intact. Now, Mike's just found something whiffy in the fridge. It smells a bit of ammonia. Either the milk's gone bad or they've hit the jackpot. Boy, could it be crap? Could it be coke? Could it just be a massive be, yeah. frozen bottle of coke? Yeah, because so, they're just taking it out. Yeah, it seems that. Put that in there as well. I can smell it more now. Let me go get some bags. Oh. We're not sure <coughs> exactly what it is at the moment. Um, it's obviously quite a hard white substance with a spoon in which. I don't have this type of thing in my fridge. If it is cocaine, it's just going to be worth, you know, considerable amounts of money. The yogurt. The only way to find out for sure is to get it tested. We've got the phones, we've got the cannabis, we've got the cash. So, once everything's bagged up, the boys transport the goods back to the Nick, where the mystery white substance is taken straight to the lab for analysis. Just testing cocaine, okay, we're going to test amphetamine and we'll test crystal meth as well. Each test will be able to prove them what it potentially is. No. To the boy's surprise, the cocaine test comes back negative. So, what is it? This at the moment is giving a positive for, for well, positive indication for amphetamine. It's definitely amphet. Disappointing. No, uh, disappointing, but it's still cute. Yeah, it's, the, yeah, it's, it's still a class B. Yeah, at least it's not yeah. bloody cooking oil or. <laughs> duck fat, can you imagine? Oh yeah, we've got a kilo of duck fat for you, CID, come on there. Amphetamine, or speed, is a class B drug worth significantly less than cocaine. Even so, this single kilo block could sell on the street for around five grand. Not a bad bit of work for Ken and the team. It's always a good day when you... What, Alm Patrol? That's crazy, because most of us know what he was doing with that. That's wild. Now, and you know, you you act on you act on a bit of intelligence, and it comes up trumps, and that's kind of what's happened today. You know, and it's a real disruption, and potentially a, a wider investigation to be commenced as part of, you know, something else that's going on. The suspect is currently under investigation for possession with intent to supply a class A and B substance, and for the production of cannabis. The case is ongoing. I swear to God, I spit in your face. Some suspects are. A Don't do that. You're going to jail for assault. A bit like volcanoes. Oi, you can get up. Oi, oi, get up. At any given moment, they can blow their top. Get on the floor! Do you spit at me, mate? You spit at me! The main reason people turn from calm to aggressive pretty quickly is uh, substance misuse. So whether that be alcohol, drugs, uh, or both, that um, tends to make people pretty unpredictable at times. And you know, they can go from being fairly calm within seconds to being a bit of a, a bit of an handful. In Chicago spitting on the spitting spitting on the police is the quickest way to get meek mock meek. They will whoop you in, in Chicago. And then also, there's the uniform side of it. I mean, some people just really don't like the police. Um, and our presence alone can sort of uh, infuriate them a little bit, and they, uh, they become sort of verbally aggressive towards us.
It's a balmy Friday evening in Knotts. Yeah, receive Sarge, uh, 30 seconds away. Dog handler Coops is en route to an emergency on the southern fringes of the county. Gotham? A call. What, what was that? To an emergency on the southern... G-O-T-H-A-M? That's Gotham. Gotham. Fringes of the county. Had a call saying that... Uh, 10 p.m. and it's this light outside. I will never... This is never going to not be shocking to me. Vehicle, single vehicle was crashed just down this country road, uh, overturned on its roof. Two young lads have got out of this car that's got no insurance. He's whipped his top off and they've walked off. But now we're going to go and look if we can get hold of him because um, the car could be stolen. So we are nearby now and it just should be around this corner, the uh, crashed vehicle. A familiar flicker of blue and red up ahead draws Coops in. Oh, yeah. Where he's presented with a pretty shocking scene. Yeah. That is nasty. It's a miracle anyone survived at all. Hi, uh, mate, you're right. Can you see up near the local shop? Apparently, they borrowed this gent's phone to make a phone call. There could be a woman coming to pick him up. Right, okay. He's dressed all in grey. One of them that's done a run. Yeah, okay, mate, yeah. Growing up, Knott's born Coops was desperate to become a cop, developing a strong sense of right and wrong from an early age. And he's got little time for unsavoury behaviour. Two of them on the same episode. Piss that, man. Are you all right, You know what? Five men. Five there's children, there's, there's children stood here. Five men. The gentleman in question is relieving himself against a garden fence. Coops has seen her more than enough. There's children there, there's people down there, right, there's a car right, crashed up there. There's a car Mr. crashed up there. I'll back away from you. You'll stand there now. Up. You'll stand there right, and you won't go any further. All right. All right. Listen just me. listen, just have, so have 30 seconds and just relax without speaking. So you've had a drink and I haven't, and we're gonna fall out. This bloke isn't one of the suspects from the car crash. However, urinating in public can land you with a fine or a charge for a public order offence. It's my 970th birthday. Right. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this police officer has more pressing matters to attend to than this guy right now. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like he should have, like, called it in and then continued to do what he was doing. Because this, in comparison to what he got going on, is... This big in my mind. Ty's <laughs> birthday party, right. right? And we're down there. We were doing the car crash up here. Yeah, yeah. We came up here. They was around there, and I had a piss there. Right. right. Nobody could see me. Oh, so, I'm not uh, doing uh, anything incriminating. Yeah, you are. You're shouting excited. You're anything. making a show of I'm yourself. Not I'm it. telling you. Don't shout at me. Don't shout at me. Over well, I'm going on my own. You understand? Yeah, I'm you, going you on my go way. You go on your way. See in a bit. And you take your little camera, rude boy. You little pervert. Oh, mate, you're the one with your penis out, mate. What? You're the one well, with you're your penis out. I'm right. the one with my penis out. Right. All right, all right, I'm back on. Do you understand? Back... Turn around now, turn around. I'm going over. Yeah, I thought so. You, better, you, you, you got a small victory, my boy. You just go on. And then on top of that, he didn't even do nothing to him. You're, you're an idiot, mate. You're a bullet. That's what you are. Do you want to be here? Come back then. Come back and get arrested. Come back and talk. Come back and talk to me then. Come back and talk. Come back and talk to him. The man's becoming increasingly heated. Maybe this lady can help cool him down. Right. 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 You've been an arse. Relax. No, no. no. You've been an arse. You free. Go. Relax. He off from class A's. That's what it is. Relax, Bradley. Please. Bradley. Get off my arm, man. No, no, Relax. I'm going to. I'm not going to. So you detect. Oh, right. Bradley, let me speak to him for two seconds and he'll be on his way. All right. It turns out the woman is the bloke's mum. But he's not listening to her either. So I had a piss up fence. Right. Yeah, mate, mate, cut. All right, no, no, listen. They let you go. <laughs> he let you go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm entertaining. I ain't entertaining. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, listen. You're under arrest for being drunk and disordered. You know what I'm going to arrest for drunk and disordered? Don't know what I'm doing. Relax. 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 Oh, 
As he resists arrest, the man drags both cops to the tarmac, where the Sarge's head lands with an almighty crack. How? Oh, how can you put this on tennis, man? What the f are you out there? It's on tennis. It's on tennis. It's on tennis. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I believe it. Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. Sorry. This bloke's al fresco comfort break has taken a decidedly dark turn. And he knows he's banging trouble. Somebody should some, 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 Honestly, some people just shouldn't drink. I'm so sorry you're not, yeah? He's apologized. It's too late. You was clean free. He let you go, but no, no, no. To his family. I'm so sorry you lot. Listen, I'm so sorry, you know. And to the cops. I'm not that kind of guy, you know. But assaulting a police officer is a serious offence and saying sorry won't cut it. Why am I acting like this? Why am I acting like this? I'm so sorry, yeah, you lot. Walk, His explosive behaviour remains a problem for the cops. And seeing as mum couldn't calm him down, maybe dad will have more luck. I've, I've just been a dick, I know. I've been a f***ing idiot. I have been an idiot. These lot were trying to be all right with me, right? And, and, and I've been an idiot. And I have. There's there, a police officer there who's got a crack in the back of his head you know, and bleeding all down the back of the head. Sound like his if, you're, if you're his dad, you can just go and have a look at the officer there. I'm sorry. There's I blood I'm coming sorry. down the back of his head. They, they, tried, to, they all tried to rag me up and calm down. Sure. Yeah, I'm chilled. I'm chilled. I'm chilled. I'm not going to try and move anywhere. I'm not going to try and move anywhere. I promise you, I won't try and move anywhere. I'm not a dickhead. I'm not that. Just just ease it now. That's it. It's done. Yeah. Looks like the calming presence of Dad has had the desired effect. Go on, man. Do you know what? I don't know if I have flipped out like me. <sighs> you need counselling. <laughs> something. Pathetic, that is. That is absolutely pathetic. You come from a good home, my boy. You got both parents, mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the way I went on. So it's just what it is now, mate. The penny appears to have dropped. So while they wait for the man's ride to arrive, Coops goes to check on Sarge. Is there another unit to drive you to hospital? Oh, have you got, have you got an ambulance? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. We're in the area looking Bro, for this other sure. incident. Ambulance. Uh, looking for these other offended. And then this lad here is urinating up against this, this fence. He's walking down the street saying all sorts. Uh, and in the end, we've had to arrest him. And unfortunately, during in that arrest, we end up going down to the floor, and the, and the sergeant's banged his head and got an injury. And it's just, it's just totally unacceptable, really. Um, so he's been arrested for drunk and disorderly and police assault. Um, and we'll get him away now. And the priority is now to get the sergeant some uh, medical attention. Got a nasty cut on the back of his head, and that's the priority, really. We didn't want to arrest him because we've got this other job we're dealing with. But now this this lad has single-handedly taken the most of the cops on this tour group investigating this incident to deal with him and look after Sergeant, who's now injured. After 20 minutes, there's still no sign of the ambulance. But Coops wants Sarge to be seen ASAP. So I think whoever can drive, I think the priority is to get the Sergeant Whoa. down to hospital. I'm not, I could be mistaken, but I've never seen a black cop on this show. First time. I think if any of you lot can, one of you can do that. Yeah. With the Sarge safely on his way, attention turns back to the urinator, whose mood has swung again, and he's suddenly eager to cooperate. Might find a bag of cocaine in my pocket. We knew that. <laughs> we knew that. We been knew that. We knew you was all for that. I'm not gonna lie. So we are gonna find something on you. Yeah, you are, yeah, yeah, million percent, yeah, I'm gonna lie to So what are we gonna find? He's fessed up to having a bag of cocaine. If he's been on the sniff, it could explain why his mood's been swinging like a wrecking ball. Might be not on me. It's a for a while. But even though he insists he's got some, you check my socks, check everything. He could have fell out because his phone fell out when we were check struggling on the floor. You want to check. They find nothing. Hey. You good? Nevertheless, he's off to the Nick where he'll be able to sober up and make full use of the facilities. Weird in the street isn't a major issue. However, with the mixture of a group of family, uh, drugs and alcohol, it almost creates the perfect platform for someone of that nature um, to turn kick off. And what's the sad thing about that is that there's a police officer tonight who's now sat in hospital 
possibly got concussion. It's very disappointing that his behaviour has resulted in someone to be injured. This chap ended up spending a heck of a lot more than a penny. It turned out the urinator was telling the truth, as a thorough search reveals some cocaine. He was cautioned for possession of Class A and being drunk and disorderly. Mm. For assaulting a police officer, the court ordered him to pay over a thousand pounds in fines. The Sarge made a full recovery. Still to come, everyone. Nicking drug dealers used to be straightforward. How much is there, mate? Should be about an ounce there or something. Right. A bag of weed, a packet of powder. That's literally just dropped out of your pocket. And they were in cuffs quicker than you could say pee wits. I'm reporting you for possession of Class A drugs. Yeah. But for the cops, a recent phenomenon has been leaving a nasty taste in the mouth. The rise of the cannabis edible. Yeah, they are definitely coming increasing. This is 2023, this? Okay. Be more popular. We've had numerous sweets, cakes. Oh my God, where am I? I've been, how long have I not been on the screen? Y'all just sitting there watching it, not telling me? How long was I missing? Cookies. I'm gonna edit that out. All manner of sort of ed edible cannabis varieties. A lot of them, they could come in bags which look like normal sweets. So that's the sort of problem is when, you know, you people are buying them, leaving them around, and then suddenly, you know, kids can get hold of them, which obviously can be fatal. The city centre provides a fertile hunting ground for the knife crime team's war on drugs. Ken Tinley's back out again for the knife crime team's war on drugs. Why you got on a motorcycle helmet for a bicycle? extra drugs ken tinley's back out again his partner today is adam scottney their colleagues have spotted a black ford suspected to back be in nottingham to supply of cannabis there, Jen. Just stay there for us mate there's three lads in the fiesta step out for us mate adam's gone for the one in the back just pop your phone on the wall mate well, that's, that's a little iffy. <laughs> well, for the one in the back. Uh -huh. uh, is there anything on you that could hurt me or you? Uh, no. No, no weapons or anything like that? Nope. Cool. Have you got is that the cannabis you've got? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to pop that on there then, mate. Is that all you've got? Yeah, that's it. He says he's got nothing on him but a small bag of weed. Oh, I so sorry. good to you. And a sparkling set of false gnashes. Cool, come and have a seat in our car, we'll start sorting out the cannabis then. At times like this, it's always good to chew the fat. Jump in, pal. Is it edibles or...? It's just a bit of cannabis. Yeah, edible cannabis or cannabis you smoke. Good, yeah, yeah. OK, you've been arrested before? No, sad. Meanwhile, Ken's been having a rummage in the Fiesta. Whatever these snacks are, they're probably not part of your five a day. Mate, off your phone. Off your phone. Wait, wait. Give me your phone. I can be on my phone. Give me your phone. Why can't I be on my phone? Because you've been arrested, mate. Why am I being arrested? You've been arrested on suspicion of possession of cannabis what? with intent to supply, OK? What are you on about? Do not say anything, mate. Why, all why, of why everyone. Being arrested? Everyone. What? Well, how do we? Everyone. No, no. You can't do that, though. You can't do that. Yes, no. mate. You can't do Ease that. Up. You're in the Ease condition. Up. Relax yourself why, why under arrest. You, why can you do right. that? It doesn't I thought it was normally the driver they get. Normally in these shows, they get the driver for it and then let everybody else go. It no sense. I've walked up to the car and I'm being arrested. Said, uh, You've got in the car, which there's a quantity of drugs you believe that are from wood supply, and we suspect you were in the car before. The lad's not best pleased. Is this legal? But there's more than enough evidence in the motor to warrant a trip to the Nick. There's a quantity of cannabis in the boot of that car, OK? Because of that, all of you are being arrested for possession of cannabis with intent to supply. The flapjacks had been homemade, but which one of these three lads is this week's star baker remains unclear. It's like the new craze is cannabis edibles, alternative ways of taking cannabis. Obviously, they haven't got this, uh, this carrier bag in the boot as well, which we can see is, is full of. Not me, not ever. My God, drug free is the way to be. No edibles, no, no. Remember, I tried that one time because it is, when I was in Chicago, for anybody who's uh, 
Her Majesty's Queen Police on here. When I was in Chicago, which it is legal, you know, saying medical and 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 uh, you know what I'm saying. You could just do it. You could just do it in Chicago. Um, I tried it, and I sat on the edge of my bed for eight hours. <laughs> Never again. The same items again, which we all suspect contains cannabis. The three people in the car when we've approached it, so all three of them are going to be under arrest on suspicion of that offence whilst we obviously carry out some initial investigation. Why me? Edible cannabis is big business on the street. Last year, cops in Yorkshire seized £300,000 worth of edibles in a single raid. Today's goodie bag may not be on that scale, but it still requires further investigation. So while the three lads are booked in, Ken takes a moment to inspect the goods. The reality is that it's going to be cannabis that's been cooked in and amongst the recipe to produce this, and it's still classified as a Class B controlled drug, and it seems to be what is essentially some homemade baking with the ability to shrink wrap it themselves. So given the amount that's there, it's going to have been for, for onward supply. So that's, that's where we're at. That's what the aim of the investigation is now, to... Uh, to ascertain who was in possession of this and what and what their intent was, really. Meanwhile, a further search of the lad Adam as Nate turned up something else that's piqued the team's curiosity. What else? A handful of electronic key fobs. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Please trying to go collect them strikers, huh? I suspect the keys are linked to a housing block near to where the stop took place earlier on. We're just going to have a look around and see what sort of um, what sort of gates the fobs work on and see if we can try and locate an address that potentially these lads have been at just before they've been arrested uh, and then carry out some searches and see what we can find there. The technology may be modern. <sighs> but this is good old-fashioned police work. Someone just opened. Close it again. And their tenacity has paid off. Yeah, press it again. <laughs> it's opened a parking garage across the street. <laughs> All the way across the, next the street. Spot they've got features a Mercedes logo. So it's a flash that Mercedes fob to let open something. Surely not. Have you got it? <laughs> If only all police work was that simple. Because he's been arrested, essentially, it will be a Section 18 search on the car. So we need to wait for someone to make contact with the inspector in custody for the search to be authorised. And then as soon as it's authorised, we can go in and just make sure everything's legal then. And then if we find anything in there, it, it's it's good. Look how they follow the chain of whatever it's called. Checks. They're doing everything in order. To reveal, the lad Adam arrested is the name driver on the Merck's insurance. Unfortunately, when the team finally get the green light... You've been through the middle? Yeah. They find nothing suspicious. However, later that night, they... Nice car. ...search three properties connected to all three of the suspects. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. They find more edibles and a suspiciously weighty piggy bank so they take it back to the Nick to crack it open. Oh, yes. This lad's a trainee bricklayer with the council. Yeah. And he's got probably, what, a grand's worth of cash in a box in his bedroom. It just doesn't quite add up. They've also retrieved several items of designer gear. Ooh, we got the Rolex. But most revealing of all is what Joe's just found. Managed to unlock one of the phones. Um, I had a look at a few messages. There's quite a few on there. When he was stopped, he had a blue Skoda with him, which is registered and short to him. On the messages, he's saying that he's, he's there waiting for them in a blue Skoda. There's photos and videos of him. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of evidence on the phone. The lads from the Fiesta have been released under investigation for being concerned in the supply of Class B drugs. The investigation into the suspected... At what point is we going to become illegal? It's going to become legal in the UK. Like, are they working on it? Like Cannabis edibles continues. Guess that's... 
Oh, that's it. See you later. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.